YouTube. Okay, so I just tried to say that and it felt really odd, but whatever. Okay, so this video, um, my BFF here on YouTube, her name was Anissa, her channel will be in my pants. Um, she was talking to me last night about video ideas and stuff, and she told me I'm going to be a junior in high school, which I'm turning 16 in September, so I should be a sophomore, which is what she's going to be, but I started whenever I was four in kindergarten, because I am going to be a junior, and I have most definitely been through like my ups and downs through high school so this is going to be a do and don't video for freshmen like incoming freshmen or if you guys are like going through summer school because i know some schools go through the summer if you're a freshman right now um this can help you out hopefully and, um i just want to tell you guys these are things that i would say do's and don'ts for us for like my school it's different things for like different people i'm not saying it won't work for you but like there's different people at different schools so some of the things that happen to you might not necessarily happen at my school or some things that happen at my school might not happen at yours. Okay, so I only wrote down a couple, like I wrote it down in my YouTube book, but um, I don't even use this, but um, I might like come up with some more, so I might be like all over the place, sorry, but I'm going to be doing a summer, or not summer, I'm going to be doing my back to school series soon because some people start like the first week in August. I start like the 12th or something, but I have driver's ed coming soon, so I'm just gonna, this is gonna be my first video for back to school kind of, but it's not really back to school yet. Okay, don't be scared. If you get scared, um, like if you act scared at school, people are gonna be able to tell, and like honestly at my school, people can't really tell the difference between freshman and sophomore, like unless they know you, like at my school freshmen, like they don't really, they bother people. So what they'll do, like, hey, what grade are you in? They obviously are, like, intrigued by you. Oh, I'm a freshman. Oh. Yeah, that's how it happens at my school. But, um, yeah, it's, like, it's really hard, um, because, like, if you, people change their freshman year, that's a given. But we'll get on to the next one, because I'm getting sidetracked already. Don't overthink it. If you overthink being a freshman and being in high school and stuff, you will act different, and you will not be yourself, and, uh, that will, that's, like, one of my do's is to be yourself, but, um, you need to not overthink it, like I said, if you overthink it, blah, 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 I already said that, um, basically, you're gonna change, but hopefully it's for the better, hopefully you don't change for worse, um, so yeah, the next don't is don't be someone you're not, if you act not yourself, people will be able to tell, you, like, acting yourself won't come naturally, you will most likely embarrass yourself, um, like, I don't know, it's just, people, you can tell if somebody's not being themselves if they're trying to, like, impress somebody, so they're changing themselves just to impress one person, and then they lose a whole bunch of people. Okay, don't disengage yourself, um, from the world. You, I know that, like, it can be hard at times, um, believe me, <laughs> but, um, you don't want to disengage yourself. You want to, like, in class, say you're doing like a partner thing and you don't have any friends in that class well if you see somebody else who doesn't have a partner don't be afraid to go up and ask them will you be my partner you want to be partners you know like in my geometry class i had no friends in my class but i asked this one boy that sat next to me oh you want to be partners blah, blah blah and so after that we just always became partners you can become friends if you don't have friends in that class which is actually pretty cool i think um so it's not always necessarily the best thing if you have friends in all your classes Okay, so that were my don'ts. I'm probably going to get some more don'ts while I'm talking about this, which is the do's. So the first do is, um, okay, if you are in a sport that you love, try out for it, um, and also try out for new things. Like, if you're interested in softball but you've never played softball, try out for it. Um, even it, like, there's, it's not bad if you don't make it. Like, you could make some friends from just trying out, but if you're not a sporty person, try out for clubs. Well, like, you don't have to try out. Like, join a club or maybe even create your own club with your friends. You sh need to do that because um, even if school is hard, by joining a sport um, that you love or that you begin to love and like and stuff, you will make new friends and you guys will have something to talk about because you're in the same sport so you can talk about, oh, the game last night, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> um, but if you're in a club, you can always, like, be study buddies and you can, like, like, I'm going to be doing cookie baking club. And, <laughs> yeah, it sounds kind of lame, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, join that stuff because you will make more friends. It will be, especially because, like, 
you will learn more stuff about the high school and upperclassmen won't think of you as just any old freshman they'll think about you as like somebody that they can relate to as a freshman which is really good because that's not how it actually is for most freshmen at my school um do be open and be open-minded that's kind of two things but not really like what i mean by open-minded is like join something new like i just talked about um make new friends you i can most definitely guarantee you once you're in eighth grade all the friends that you have you will not be friends with probably half of those people by your sophomore year like by the middle of your sophomore year i'm friends with two people i was friends with going into freshman year and one of them moved away yeah yeah uh, I've made a bunch of new friends. Um, you're going to find out who your friends really are because they will change in high school. They will change themselves for other people. Some of them, some of them will be true to you. If you change yourself, they might ditch you because they don't like who you are now. Or they'll make you realize you're being somebody who you're not. Okay. Be nice. You cannot, can't, oh, did I talk about being cocky? I, that was one of my don'ts. I don't think I talked about that. Don't be cocky, but... You, I'll kind of like do these two in one. If you be cocky, people are going to look at you like she is, you're going to get damaged in high school if you act cocky. Like you cannot act cocky. It's so annoying when freshmen act cocky. Because first off, you don't know the school. Second off, if you have friends and siblings and upper class, like my sister will, she's going to be a freshman. That doesn't matter. You don't act like you're better than somebody else. Nobody ever should act like they're better than somebody else because really you're not so don't act cocky because you will get damaged um i'm not saying somebody will like jump you in the school year i don't know somebody might jump you <laughs> but if they did it's not on me i warn you people even if somebody's being mean to you you need to be nice to them because that will show that you're the bigger person and you can also make a whole bunch of new friends by being nice and open-minded involve yourself i kind of talked about that already um you need to involve yourself with a whole bunch of new things loving yourself new friends disengaging yourself jumped i hope this helped you guys and i hope that everybody has a safe freshman year and don't change yourself everything in a nutshell is don't change yourself be who you are and don't be cocky whatever you do so yeah i hope you girls enjoyed if i reach like 450 to 500 subscribers which I'm at like 131 so I'm not really close at all but if I reach there I will have a contest so yeah that's really exciting <coughs> but if I get to like 300 and I like stay there for a while I might do a giveaway so subscribe it's free love you bye